Hi, this is problem 11 from the 2019-12a. For some positive integer k, the repeating base k representation of the base 10 fraction 7 over 51 is the repeating decimal 0.23 base k. What is k? Okay, this is a numerological base problem where we usually want to express 7 over 51 in terms of powers of k. So let's uh, write that out. 7 over 51 is 2 over k, 3 over k squared, so on. So let's break up this uh, series into its two subcomponents, the one with the coefficient 2 and the one with the coefficient 3. The one with the coefficient of 2 is 2 over k, k cubed, a to the fifth, and break out our formula for an infinite geometric series. The first term is 2 over k, 1 minus the ratio between the terms. Let's do the same thing for the terms containing 3. The geometric sequence formula. Add these things together, do a little multiplication. Again, we're told this is 7 over 51. Okay, looks like we could cross multiply. That's a quadratic. We could solve for k. We're going to end up with some pretty large coefficients, so that might be a bit of work. Let's see if we can examine this a little more carefully and see if we can come to a uh, quicker resolution. Let's factor the bottom. And this is uh, 7 over 51. Let's uh, decompose that into its prime factors. And if we look at this, we realize that both terms, top and bottom, are integers, whole numbers. We have whole numbers, top and bottom, here. So this is essentially a reduced fraction of whatever is to the left. And so essentially, if we multiply this by some positive integer n, basically the number 1, then the number on the top has to match up with the number on the left. The number on the bottom has to match up with the bottom number on the left. So the question is, what number n should we multiply such that when we take the prime factorization, we can sort this out into two factors on the bottom that are two numbers separated by 2? And it's pretty easy to see that if we multiply it by 5, we'll have 15 times 7. And that should satisfy that requirement. And once you have 15 times 7 on the bottom, it's pretty easy to see how these things are going to line up such that uh, k minus 1 is 15, k is equal to 16, or choice D.